And Wendy, going back to some of those fires, especially ones in Portugal, not long ago that was us with the oh. dry conditions and the winds, but it's been a lot of rain lately. We've had a wonderful amount of rain, and, and we've got, we, we get pockets of one to two inches of rainfall as some of these stronger showers come on through. And that certainly is what happened once again today. So we saw some of the heavier rains coming on in, affecting parts of the coastline, also parts of areas out east. And right now we're starting to see more and more showers developing. This picture looks awfully pretty. It may not last that much longer though. We're seeing some blue sky right here near the waterway, but we are starting to get some clouds developing to our south and they're starting to move up in our direction. So you can see the rains all coming on in. They're moving mostly from the south towards the northwest. Other showers are forming out here in the Gulf of Mexico and they too are wide enough that they're going to be coming in and affecting our coastal areas as well. So at this hour we're seeing some spots of heavy showers taking place primarily right now across Sarasota and Charlotte counties and mostly right here closer to the water's edge and then east of I-75 we're seeing those rains in Sarasota County and of course all of this wet weather is moving on up towards the north and west and you can see it's affecting parts of Hardy and DeSoto counties as well and so we're going to continue to see this rain falling for the next couple of hours. Pockets of heavy rain that's what we've been getting over the past 24 hour period and you're seeing one and a half, two point two, two point four inches of rainfall again just in pockets taking place but we've got more rain in the forecast with much more shower activity expected beginning tomorrow. Now when you take a look at this map you think oh my goodness this is the big storm coming at us. This is not the tropical system that we're focused on right now. This is an area of a great deal of moisture east of the center of that system and so we're watching this as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico and it too is going to provide plenty of rainfall over the next three days. But our focus right now for the tropics is this area right here and this is the Yucatan Peninsula right here and this is the system I'm talking about. It's going to be moving into the Gulf of Mexico. Right now we don't know where it's going to go. Hurricane reconnaissance planes canceled their trip in because there hasn't been a system center defined. So until that happens, they're holding off. They may send a plane in tomorrow. It'll be moving into the Gulf. Where it goes, nobody knows, but there is a very good chance, now a 70% chance, that it could develop over the next 48 hour period. So definitely keep your eyes and ears tuned to this system. The next one is farther out into the Atlantic. It's moving towards the northwest at 20 miles per hour, 35 mile per hour winds now. As a result of its movement, we're now getting tropical storm warnings that have been put into effect for the western, uh, the western islands, the, uh, the windward islands is where we're going to see this affected and it's a portion of that is going to be affected. So this system is going to continue to move and it has a very good chance, a 70% chance over the next couple of days to become our next tropical system. So that's something we're going to continue to watch. Today we got up to a high of 89 degrees. We had a little bit more sunshine but we did have a lot of cloud cover around. That helped to keep our temperatures on the lower side. And so what we're going to be seeing for tomorrow is we're going to back off of those temperature highs, 86, 87 degrees, as we see that 70% chance of rain. You're going to laugh when you find out that Wednesday is our first official day of summer, not till Wednesday, but we've already started. Adam.